Alright guys, today is the day when uh, I go get some crates. I'm going to be taking the chickens to slaughter place, the slaughterhouse on uh, Tuesday. So i got to go pick up uh, the crates to hold them in. I put about uh, four or five or six in each crate. And they're just uh, plastic containers. So i got to go pick them up from the processing plant and uh, put them on the trailer obviously. Picking a couple up for the neighbors as well and I'm going to take the uh, white shawn eclairs there and uh, the red reds um, on Tuesday uh, to get them into my freezer. So uh, I'll show you uh, the crates when I get them on. All right, I am back and I did pick up the uh, containers. Let's see if I can set you down and uh, I'll show you what I got here. So these uh, these are poultry holding containers. I got them. Five of them jammed in the front of my flat trailer. These guys hold um, five or six birds, and uh, basically they have a little lid here with a little latch. You can open it up and put your chickens in there. Obviously, it's flat like this, and then close the lid. And this is what they go to the. Uh, the uh, processing plant in. So uh, I'll have three of these containers filled up myself for this run. Um, and the two other containers here are for, uh, for the neighbor. I just got them stacked in up on end uh, just, so just for travel purposes. But uh, that's how you take uh, chickens to the uh, processing plant. Unless you got two or three, you can put them in a box or something. But uh, if you got five, ten, fifteen, or whatever, these uh, containers are purpose built for carrying them. And this is what we put our meat birds in as well uh, our uh, Meat King meat birds uh, that we have 120 of. Um, I'll show you those in a sec. So uh, I think I said it before, but these are the Shauna Claire roosters that are going to be going to the processing plant. These will be going in our freezer. These are year old basically and they're nice big these guys are ready for the freezer perfect size and the, the shot eclairs are a, a dual purpose bird uh, meat and laying obviously the roosters are just for meat but they get to a, they get to a decent size and uh, great for that and these are our reds and these uh, the hens aren't huge they're gonna be pretty small actually but uh, I see Little Red has some issues on his legs. He has uh, some mites or something. That's getting bad. So anyways, um, he's going to the processing plant uh, in a couple days anyways. And uh, his legs don't go in the freezer, so I'm not too concerned about that. Doesn't doesn't look like he's in too much pain. His just feet look, uh, look a little nasty. So... Anyways, these guys aren't too old, but um, I just want to trim my flock down to uh, just the, the Shauna Claire hens, basically. The guys, the girls and the one guy that are in the, uh, the tra chicken tractor. So I'll take you over and uh, I'll show you the, uh, the meat birds. Now, we did buy 120 of these, but we've lost probably 10 so far. You always lose I have some certain percentage of them to heart attacks and trampling and just a, a weak bird or something. I mean, you're getting 120 of them, you know that some of them are going to die. So I think we're somewhere near 10 for those ones that are die are dead have died. And uh, but yeah, I guess I should show you to them, show them to you. So this is what uh, roughly 120, maybe 110 birds looks like. It goes up here and around, I uh, can't see my finger, around the corner behind this box here. And uh, these guys are just hanging out. It's warm enough today. Like I said, it's a good 20 degrees anyways. And down here are the Shauna Claire chicks and the neighbor's Australorps. Australorp chicks. The big one under the heat lamp there are the one of the two that I originally hatched. I don't know if that's a hen or a, uh, a rooster. Really hard to tell on them until they're a bit older, but uh, they're looking good anyway. So we got 
Got lots of birds in here. The uh, the the Chanticleer roosters go in that little coop thing at night. The the meat birds aren't going outside right now. Uh, they're not quite big enough and hardy enough. They need to get all their feathers in. Um, then we'll get we'll open the doors to that. And uh, and eventually all these guys got to go somewhere. Once it gets to uh, well, we'll probably need all the floor space for the. Uh, meat birds so that's why that's one of the big reasons why I'm getting rid of the roosters now because I need to uh, one way or another and I don't want to feed them anymore because they're a good enough size so uh, here is seven bags of poultry grower this is what makes these guys big and fat so uh, I assume there's a higher protein percentage in there I'm not sure to be honest with you let's see Fifteen percent protein. Okay, well that's the same as layer. You get the fifteen or the nineteen percent layer, but it must have some other differences. It has some vitamins in there, and anyways, must be better for uh, growing the meat, meat birds. So um, that's probably it. Uh, we won't have. Um, it's going to be uh, another two months before I, uh, before the meat birds are going to go to slaughter. But I might have uh, show you some video of at least uh, uh, my Shauna Claire roosters and my my reds um, get, getting into the cages there. And so uh, hopefully that'll be the next clip you see there or another video, one or the other. All right. Well, good morning. Today is slaughter day. I take the birds to the processing plant, and that's when I'm going to pull the car around and hitch up the trailer and uh, get the birds in the uh, crates Let's see if I can show you some video of that it's always fun trying to stuff the birds into the crate there all right wait a sec okay here's the next part of the process roosters are all crated up in the trailer ready to go just like I showed you before they got the hatch on top and you can put up to five in each they say so they're uh, fairly comfortable in there they don't know where they're going but uh, head to the processing plant and uh, at the end of it we'll have nice wrapped up freezer freezer chickens Alright guys, I think this will be the last segment of the uh, chicken processing video. I apologize, I didn't get you a video of um, packing up the chickens and taking them to the uh, processing plant. Um, I haven't quite gotten comfortable with uh, sticking the camera up when there's lots of other people in the frame. Um, there's, uh, you know, maybe people may or may not like that. Um, but um, I wanted to show you... Uh, the finished result, I did uh, go pick them up, obviously, actually my wife uh, picked up, picked them up. We had, we took nine birds, sorry, eight birds in total ourselves, and uh, nine birds for the neighbors. And um, these are the Shauna Flares, um, like I, I think I've already said in the previous clips. And uh, they're not as big as the meat birds, for sure. Um, so this is a... <clears throat> This is the finished product. Um, this guy, actually, this guy is a fairly. This is one of the bigger birds. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, it's the price there is five thirty nine. But that's the actual uh, weight in pounds. So this was five pounds uh, thirty nine. Uh, well, that wouldn't be ounces. I don't know what that means. Five pounds, anyways, over five pounds. Um, 2.45 kilograms it shows there here's uh, another one actually this is a good size one too um, yeah this is over five pounds so that's actually pretty good because a, a bunch of them I was seeing was were under five pounds um, they're, they're not big like um, the meat birds like these this would be a small uh, meat king meat bird for sure the um, the rooster uh, meat birds um, uh, come out at about seven or eight pounds um, the lighter hens, hen meat birds, um, come out at, uh, I think, you know, six, six, seven pounds or something like that. So these are definitely, uh, 
smaller and uh, there's a bit more uh, dark meat on them uh, you know the breasts aren't as big as as the uh, as the meat birds um, but uh, <coughs> Overall, um, that worked out real well, so I think I'm going to continue to raise the uh, Chanclair roosters uh, for meat. And so yeah, we've got a freezer full of these guys. Now we um, we cooked uh, one up in a crock pot, and I could not tell the difference between the taste of the white meat on um, on the Chanclairs versus the the meat birds that we uh, get the more commercial, you know, purpose bread meat birds um, the, the chicken was excellent it didn't taste gamey at all and that was just like I say it was done in a crock pot um, uh, as a whole um, so that worked out really well um, the dark meat is, is really dark on these guys uh, it it has a it has a lot of flavor to it um, more flavors than uh, say a Swiss chalet dark meat or something it's it's stronger it, you might call it a bit more gamey, but uh, it's really not that different. Um, but yeah, the white meat is is uh, very tasty and you know not at all different than any other white meat that you'd eat. So uh, overall, it was a good experience, and and I'm going to uh, continue to uh, raise the Shawn Claires. I'm keep, I'm still hatching. I've got another seven in the in the uh, Brency incubator. Going to keep hatching them and uh, raising the roosters. And the roosters, I'll I'll take the slaughter at the end of the year however many I have, and possibly some hens. The hens will be lighter, obviously, maybe three, four pounds. Uh, but still, like one of these guys at five pounds, um, this is even more than our family of four eats in that one sit-down meal. Uh, we just don't eat a ton. So uh, so that works out well, but the small size is plenty. When we're, uh, we have, uh, you know, roast up a seven or eight pound uh, meat bird, well, that's multiple meals for us. Uh, you know, unless you have a whole bunch of friends over. So uh, overall, it worked well. And um, uh, yeah, it's too bad you didn't see some of the crating up uh, and, uh, you know, the processing plant, but maybe you didn't want to see that anyways. Um, I have uh, cleaned the uh, chicken myself. Um, this time, since we had eight uh, and not, uh, not as much time, I figured I'd try and get them uh, done at the processing plant. It was about three bucks, just over three bucks Canadian uh, a bird. So to get them uh, professionally wrapped and stamped with the weight, and you can even put a price on them if you want, um, all done in a certified facility, um, perfect for your freezer. Um, to, get it, to get all that done for three bucks, that's not bad, and it uh, it saves a lot of, you know, it saves some time. It would otherwise be a um, three quarters of a day project to get these guys, uh, you know, defeathered or, you know, plucked and cleaned and all that um, by myself or with a friend or whatever. Uh, we may or may not get an assembly line going with uh, me and the neighbor uh, at the end of the year when we have all our birds to slaughter again. Um, I had no trouble doing that for sure. Uh, but I was just trying out the, uh, the local processing plant and the prices are very good. Um, so I don't mind uh, supporting the local company there. All right, I'm rambling on. Um, that's it. This uh, these shot of clairs, uh are delicious, and uh, they're not a bad size for a, for a family of four. So uh, that is it for the processing the meat birds video. Thanks for watching, guys.